subsequently. In addition to being given a differential equation, we are given some information about the function we are looking for. An initial value problem is a differential equation. Let's say our function is y and our variable is x. So the derivative of y with respect to x equals whatever. And in addition to this equation, were given some piece of information about this function. You are told its value at some point. This number is very frequently zero, which is where the word initial comes from. But it doesn't have to be, it could be whatever. And as an example of this, let's come back to P prime of T equals K times a P. We've looked at this differential equation a few videos back. And we observed that it has a few different solutions. In fact, it has an infinite number of solutions. Every real value here gives you a different solution. And let's now add an initial value. Let's say that P of zero equals five hundred. Well, from having an infinite class of solutions one for every real number C, we suddenly crash down to a single solution. P of zero equals C. So the statement that P of zero equals 500, tells us what to see has to be. And this situation where we have a differential equation, it gives an infinite number of solutions, but adding an initial value whittles it down to a single solution is very typical. In 
general. We expect differential equations to have infinitely many solutions, but we think, and this is in general true, that initial value problems should only have one solution. And the way we express this is that solutions should be unique. And this requirement is necessary. If a differential equation is going to be useful, let's go back to this example. And let's give it a concrete meaning. Let's call it a population function. So we're in this situation where our population function satisfies this differential equation. And we know what our population function is doing now. We know the initial population of the animal species. And we ask, okay, so what happens as time passes? Is this animal species going to go grow or go extinct or what? Well, this uniqueness condition ensures that we can answer that question. If the solution wasn't unique, we'd have to shrug our shoulders and say, I don't know, there are multiple solutions and they predict different things. So this is quite important. It's what makes differential equations useful as a real world tool.